editing your videos gets easier and easier, especially if you're using an app like CapCut, which is available for mobile and desktop, as well as Apple and Android. What I'm gonna show you today is the more advanced version of a tutorial for CapCut. If you wanna see the beginner version, I've got that linked at the top of the video, as well as a link in the description. What I'm gonna be talking about today are a little bit above just the basic features, but first I'm gonna show you some changes in case you've already watched my first video. You'll notice that there are some differences, but there's a lot of great new features available. Everything I'm showing you today is going to be in the free version. And I will also show you how you can make sure the information that you're downloading, including your audio, are copyrighted or not. Um, and you can learn that before you actually download your video. This is the main screen after you log into your CapCut account. Here's the screen when you first log in. It looks a lot different than it did in the beginner video, but you can see there's a lot of templates now. And you can go in here and either create a video or an image. We're going to go ahead and go into create a new video. And for time purposes, I already have one uploaded, but if you don't already have one uploaded, you can do that here as well. So the first screen that you'll get is select your aspect ratio. You can choose those here, but if you're like, you know what, I've already got the video, it's already figured out, you might wanna change it later, you can do that here too, okay? So you can either click to upload, drag and drop, um, or if you already have your video uploaded into your library, then you can just double click and it automatically puts it in here. Nice opening shot, right? <laughs> okay, so real quick, some of the enhancements or additional features that CapCut now has available in both the mobile and desktop versions for both Apple and Android. Templates is new. Stock videos was there. Photos is new. Um, audio and text were there already, but captions and transcript are new. And then these last four, stickers, effects, transitions, and filters were all already there as well. Now, this is something that I did not cover in the beginner video, so I'm just gonna show you real quick all of the different shortcuts that you can do within CapCut. Now, obviously this is a PC because you can see that it's using the control function versus the command function. So we've got our video pulled up. Um, we are gonna go ahead and if we wanted to do B-roll, which is what stock videos can be used for, um, you just simply click on stock videos and you can either drag and drop or you can double click, okay? So you can see here that because my cursor or my marker was at the very beginning is the reason why I put the clip here. But if you want to put it inside your clip like this, then you can see that you create a separate layer and it will do that for you. Okay, and once you're on here, if you don't want it to fill the entire screen, then you can always highlight your video and then you can move it around. Now this one makes sense to have it fill up your entire window. If we wanted to add photos, same thing. Audio, we reviewed that in the beginner video. I want to add video to this one because I wanna show you the copyright piece. So I'm just gonna pick one of these um, I'm gonna add it a different place. We'll go here. I don't know what this is, but you can see the audio track was dropped here. It's a minute, 14 seconds long. What we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom back out and see that it's taking a part of the clip. We've got this in here. So if you go up here, then you can see what items are copyright issues. Click on that, you've got two, which would be the video I just imported, and then also the music. What I always advise my clients to do is to, if you're gonna be creating videos for your business, use audio within the platform that you're gonna be uploading. Each of the platforms like YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok are all getting more strict on what features they will allow in the videos that are uploaded to their platforms. So if you go with the features, including audio, that's already available in each of those platforms, you're gonna have less, you're gonna be less likely to get a copyright strike but always do your research. I'm gonna keep it in there right now just for the purposes of having something else that we can work with. So if we didn't want this full clip, then you just click it um, you know, wherever you want that point to go. And then you've got your split tool here that just cuts your, your audio. Text, we did cover this in the beginner video, but there are additional um, text options available. So here now you can see what text is trending and these are also going to be up for copyright um, review, so be sure to pay attention to that up here. 
once we add text on screen, we'll just use this one for example, um, you can see how easy it is. And then you can go over here and you can say subscribe and we'll just to my channel and you can see it all cha changes right there, right? So, but if we go up here, now we can see that that's up here as well. All, everything I've added so far is up for potential copyright issues, unless I use it only for personal use. Okay, which none of mine are, because uh, I create the videos for business purposes. People who want to get confident on camera and create more videos consistently for their business, these are ones that I definitely have to pay attention to. So I encourage you to also pay attention to what you can and can't use um, based on the different features that you're using in your video, okay? Captions, super easy. Auto captions, I always use this because it's just easy. Um, my defaults to English and then you just click generate. Um, depending on your internet speed, it'll go faster or slower. But you can see now that you can see all of your captions are listed here and they're on your video. It defaults to the white with no background and it's all like lowercase. You definitely have to go through and do some e do some editing. And it's very simple, like you just click in each one of these. That's literally how easy it is. Okay, so if I wanted to capitalize this, now you're just using it like it's a Word document. My name is spelled with an I, so I'd want to correct that. And then you can just go through here, scan what you wanna update, and make all the changes there. If you want to change the background, which I encourage you to do, you can use your brand colors, but I also want you to pay attention to what's going on in the background. So like I've got a black shirt on. If my captions are going to be in this place, I don't want to use a black background um, because it'll blend. And then this also is not real easy to read, the white on the like cream colored wall. So I'm going to choose a text option that's going to be easier to read and it'll change it on all of them. I don't have to go through and, and change it on each one. It, it defaults to that. Um, if I wanna get a transcript of the video, I can do that as well. If you have more than one video track, like I do now, so I added the video, which is that three second cat countdown, and then I also added audio. Those are on here. I can choose which one I want to have transcribed. I want just this one. So then you just click transcribe and it'll go ahead and list everything here. Okay. If you've got filler words in this one, I don't, this was a promotional video that I created. So I actually used the teleprompter in CapCut for the mobile version <laughs> to create this. I typically don't use a teleprompter, but when I'm doing videos like that, I want to get it all in one take. It's just easier for me to do that. So that's why there's no filler words here. But if you have filler words like ahs, ums, likes, those types of things, it'll identify how many you have. You can go through one by one and decide if you want to remove them or you could just remove them all. Stickers, very simple. Go through here and add your stickers. Um, you know, we wanna add an arrow. We can add animation to that as well. Um, change the size of these and you can change the animation on, on those as well. You can add effects to your video as well as your body. So you can see here all the layers are not seen and if I want to see all of those then I can go here and change the size of this screen so I can see everything that's going on here. So let's just say we want to do something right here. We're just going to do it for a short segment. Then we've got you know the video selected. I'm going to say cut it here. And then I'm just going to say, let's go here and I have to select it first, right? And then cut it there. Now we've got this segment here that we want to add an effect to. So let's just say we want to do an explosion to it. So you can see what it does. We also want to do the um, body effect. So you can see how that applied it to the entire video. But if we want to do just a body effect, again, you want to choose your moment in your video, highlight it, and then Let's go here and say we're gonna do the same thing. We just need a clip, right? So you have to create the clip. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to choose body effects over here. You can scroll down and see what's available. You can see here what the effect might look like. This one's pretty interesting. So if we do that, you can see it just kind of puts this effect around me, right? It's not the entire video. Now let's look at um, transitions, which are the bridging the gap between two different clips. This is going to be good to use. You've created a clip and you don't want the clip to be seen. Transitions are a great way to cover that up. 
Okay, so you find the transition that you want, and then what you can do is you can expand it. So it can be a longer transition as well. So what it's doing is it's pushing one clip out of the window and it's bringing in another clip, which you can see here. And then if you wanted filters, these are going to change different ways that you look or your video look. And you can see the different examples here. So click whichever one you want. And you can see it just adds different layers up here. So you can see what is on which layer. Okay, so now we need to go over here to the copyright. And you can see here that there are five of them that are not going to be good. This one's good. So you can keep that one. And it's up to you if you want to go ahead and download it or export it. Before I do, I just want to show you the aspect ratio, how you can change that. So this one obviously is for YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn. It's a longer form video. It's horizontal or landscape. If we want to also use it for TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, then we have this option here. So watch what happens. I just tap it and you can see everything that was on the original video is saved. It's moved around a little bit, but you can easily go in here and say, let's move this down here. I want this up here. Now I want this whole video because it looks silly like that, right? I need to be in the video. That's all you need to do. And then you can export that one too. When you're ready, then you go ahead and click export. You can also export directly to these different platforms. Or if you, you're like, I just want to go ahead and download it, then you just go ahead and download it. Okay, test video, video, and then export it, okay? The link for the beginner version of a CapCut training, again, is in this video and it's also in the description. If you want my video planning guide, I encourage you to download that as well. It walks you through all the steps for planning your video, getting it prepared for recording, and then obviously you need something recorded in order to edit it. <laughs> so it's a great resource for creating your videos on a consistent basis. So I, that link is in the description as well. And that's it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and until next time, make today great.